boys have come along to ask about a mechanism, so we're going to go through nuclear filling condition. This is the third one in the series, nuclear filling condition. Straight away, we're looking for carbon ions. We're probably going for an aldehyde or a keto. I'm going to go for an aldehyde here. What are we going to react it with? We can react it with a nucleophile. Cyanide can come from potassium cyanide, or sodium cyanide, or hydrogen cyanide. Then we see a minus ion. When that happens, what do we get? Well, it's that this is this carbon is delta positive, delta negative. Could be uneven distribution of electrons because of the difference in electronegativity. The cyanide attacks there, and the electrons transfer onto the oxygen. This intermediate now is so important. Watch this. It's nucleophilic addition. So I always like to write it as a plus sign. You've got O. Uh, what we've got here, we've got minus, we've got extra pair of electrons. What do we get? Well, this is usually in acid conditions, so it'll be a H plus. So that can be picked up. And what do you get as your final product? I love this one. It's a C H C triple N R O H. It's a hydroxy nitrile. It's also chiral. Look, four different functional groups attached to that carbon. So it will have non superimposable mirror images, therefore, um, it is a chiral center, stereo isolates.